Let me tell you something really astonishing. And this is going to set the standard of what we're going to talk about tonight. There are about 2,000 versions of the Bible. Now listen, I'm not saying languages. I'm saying versions. So when you say version, this is what it means. This is what the meaning of version is. Because people are like, well, how can there be different versions of what Jesus spoke? He said one thing, right? Why are there different versions about what he spoke? Is because what Jesus spoke, listen to me, we can understand it in this generation. What Jesus spoke had layers. Come on. Come on. What Jesus spoke had layers. It had depth. The words of Jesus had depth. And that's why every time a scholar would read the original manuscripts, he goes like, whoa, that's my version. So these versions are how the same manuscript, the same text spoke to different people. That's the reason why Christianity has versions and we're okay with it. We're okay with it. Islam does not have versions. Islam has just one Quran that everybody memorizes because it is static. But the words of Jesus have depth. They're not static. The words in the Quran are words that were supposedly revealed through an angel to their prophet known as Muhammad and what was revealed to him his disciples wrote because he was illiterate that's the Quran and so it is it is guarded it is guarded by their religion they're like don't you mess with the text but that's not the case with our faith that's not the case with the Bible It's because the one who spoke had layers to what he spoke because the one who spoke spoke 2000 years ago and every year that someone would hear the words that Jesus spoke it would mean a different blessing to them it's the same text but it has depth